Playing Grounded is a company that specializes in high quality puzzles published in small batches and based on original art. Most of their art seems to be inspired by Japanese comics and cartoons, but not by specific intellectual properties. It is basically uh, actual original works of art that have been commissioned by Playing Grounded and that you can find only on their puzzles. In this video I'm going to tell you about Surfer Girls, which is a puzzle by Playing Ground that they sold recently. A thousand pieces and here it is in all of its glory. It's a really fun puzzle, beautiful, colorful, quality wise this is good quality the pieces are not the thickest out there they're not as thick as Ravensburger say in my opinion but almost as thick and still high quality very vibrant sturdy no problem with the back detaching less dust than you find in Ravensburger and the fit the fit is pretty strong so from the point of view of simply the production when it comes to putting together those pieces as a puzzle proper no problem there. What I like about this puzzle is just the art, the illustration, the color, the general composition. It is a pretty simple image, one that is almost uh, compositionally uh, deceiving because the main subject takes up such a small part of the image. It's supposed to be surfer girls, but first they're not surfing, there's only this element here to tell us that the title is not lying. And for all we know, that's, that title is still lying, that's somebody else's house, they just crashed. Or they just borrowed those as decorations. But it's a nice image because, again, it's unusual in that the subject is so small and the environment takes over the entire image. And yet, in its simplicity, it is an image that tells a story, it looks to me well, it's very hot outside and the surfer girls are taking a break, they'll go surfing later, maybe this one is trying to read, this one wants to chat, totally common situation, we've all been there, I'm usually this one and other family members more like that one. And it's just so simple, so full of light, so full of energy and it's a really really fun image. There's a little cat here. We have also I've also been this cat here in this situation at times. But again, paradoxically the surfer girls element is secondary because you'll spend most of your time when you saw this puzzle working on the ceiling on that on that uh, colorful piece of fabric there. This unusual is this a decoration looks like a ball uh, a, a glass sphere suspended on a net. This area here that for whatever reason I found very very challenging. This band here in particular. Really really hard. I don't know why it was the last that I solved and it was really difficult. So, uh, but don't fear just because you're gonna work on the environment mainly that it's gonna be, oh well, all skies. The areas are pretty distinctive, as you can see they are different blocks, so very different from one another, it's almost mini puzzles, so you're not going to have any problem with sorting, this area clearly is going to be different from that one, or that one, and that one, but this one is so hard, and I don't know why. Um, and so actually it's not particularly hard, but each area has its own patterns, not just that the color is different, different pattern, different feel, different flavor to it. And actually so, I would say the puzzle is even was more enjoyable even to solve than I would have imagined at the first. The kind of cut that they have, the kind of grid that they have is one that I like very much. Uh, it's a regular grid in the sense that all pieces meet at the at the four corners, but then there is a variety of male and female connections, for lack of a better word, with slightly different shapes and proportions, some bigger, some smaller connections, and so on and so forth. It is just a kind of cut that I like very much because it gives me variety, gives me ways of getting a sense of which piece may go where, uh, without having too many pieces that look exactly the same, but at the same time they still challenge. And just I find that the overall result, uh, when you see the cut, uh, because it's a puzzle, so you see the image, but you also see the cut. 
It's a pleasurable grid, it's a pleasurable visual texture with the regularity of the of the cut, but still the variety of the different connections. It's a light, fun puzzle, not particularly challenging, with the exception of the area next to the bed, but in general, just fun. I think the aim is to be uh, lively, just full of energy and life, and just fun. So that's it. It's not you know, one of those mega works of art that maybe you'll see in a museum, but it's a unique work of art, and this seems to be the only way in which you can enjoy, which is get the puzzle and solve the puzzle. And in general, overall, for production, for image, for quality, this is a very good puzzle, and one that I enjoyed solving very, very much.